Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday I was going through these uh, Superior Court hearings. Yes. <laughs> Now, it seemed that when Judge Ken Williams did not document the first uh, Superior Court hearing where Heidi petitioned the court, yes, <laughs> and then Brent Baisden was the one that said, no, I'm not going to give you the default dissolution of marriage. Oh. <laughs> you know, it could have worked out. She, she could have got what she wanted. <laughs> the state of Washington would have never known about the dissolution of marriage. <laughs> See, when one judge, right, does not document superior court hearings, yes, on May 24th of 2012, yes, and the court commissioner does grant the actual default dissolution of marriage without me getting notice of court hearings, right, it's possible the state of Washington would have never known about the dissolution of marriage. Pooch! <laughs> Now, I'm thinking that I can sue this court, yes, and the state of Washington for ethics violations and professional code violations for appointing to the Superior Court judge, yes, Brent Baisden, yes, that did not document on the state's, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Superior Court docket history, right, two of the very most important court hearings. <laughs> now, when Ken Williams didn't document that there was an actual Superior Court hearing, yes, <laughs> if Brent had decided, yes, I'm going to give you a default dissolution of marriage, <laughs> the state of Washington's judicial ethics and professional rules of conduct commission or council or whoever they are, yes, would have never known that there was a dissolution fucking losion of marriage. <laughs> Now, I'm thinking, okay, that giving custody of my sons, yes, to my wife, right, after having documented, yes, that the two very most important court hearings, oh my gosh, was the one where she petitioned the court for a dissolution of marriage, yes, and the second one where she motioned the court for a default dissolution of marriage. <laughs> now, he could have given her the default dissolution of marriage, yes, and then the court would have said, well, if you got a problem with this, you can motion the court. Yeah! Now, I'm going to sue the executive branch of the state of Washington. Yes, he is. Because when I realized that I could have lost custody of my sons then, yes, even though you kept issuing these fraudulent court orders, right, even though you issued a fraudulent dissolution of marriage, which the state would have never known about superior court hearings. Oh, now when I start thinking of billions, as in billions, as in fucking billions today, billions, okay, this whole concept to motioning the court for a default disillusion of marriage after I had responded within the 90 days, and then the state of Washington not knowing about superior court hearings, you took my sons, and for some fucking what the fuck now, I'm going to sue this fucking state for so much fucking money.